Oh, okay, okay. Okay, well, two. Game two or round two? That's a perfect play tournament. Today, we are playing on Seagrog Sports. We will be captain on this game, but since we're playing a tournament, we have our own little modifications. Today, we are using that to play a 70% game at the same time. That means the first person to 70% of the map, 49 territories to win, will win. Or, if all caps are up, then the cap run is also an option. Looking at ourselves, I like the central idea. I really do. I really like kind of like the, this central looking for bonus potentially, or maybe holding outside. And the one over here. We are first, so there's no one that can steal our cap. We can defend it. There's a 90 second time time. We have some time to think if there's anything else. I don't like the ones up here. These are really bad. The corners, because of the blizzard. Not a big fan of this. Does block off a decent bit though. I think it's actually this. I think it's the one. Except for the alliances. I'll give out some of our hearts. Hmm. As we get another bit. Okay. I like this cap. Because of how open it is, it's open to four territories, which is actually quite high for this map. You see a lot of square type boxes. A lot of the territories could only hit kind of three. Not there. I also like how central this is. We're going to keep our external positions. Blue does go to the middle counterplay. We're going to try and keep this cap as open as possible for as long as possible. We will be taking a card on this blue one. Likely on turn one. We're going to add a couple. Move out. If blue wants to hold that, I'm not completely against it. I doubt that anyone at this point will go for a neighbor cap. I was slightly worried that if I went inside here, green can just stand and block it off. I do like that as an idea from yellow. Arco very proficient in playing Caps games. Not surprised that he's found a good one. Now that I see it, this is also a decent capital that we could have chosen hmm. on this one. I think black takes this three now. Because of this blizzard and this blizzard. Puts it in a corner, you get a certain amount behind you, and everything else you can play for, but others can't. We do need to think about the green capital though. The green cap is likely to be free since it is a top player. I'd like to have a look at taking that if it's an option. When it's an option. It's not a bad capital. It's not great, don't get me wrong, it's a catching site too. Yeah, it's a capital. Gives an extra couple of troop generation. Things like that. If I you really would have liked to spend a little bit more time on that, I've chosen something over here. Black does not take this three. Interesting. Okay. We have six troops to place. We have 12 characters to start the game. We will be knocking blue under as part of our responsibilities. Oh, we back my car. Uh, this external will likely stay alive for a long time. These might not. This also might not. This will definitely. I'm going to add just a couple over here. As well as the capital. Then we'll be taking. This here knocks blue down to just a five troops instead of a six. Very intentional play on our part. Since they only start their turn at 11, but we get to start at 12, uh, turn at 12 going first, right? So we got an extra troop compared to blue. Usually, go the other way around. People in late positions get more troops on turn one. We managed to flip that dynamic. It was really good. So blue is going to shore up some of their externals. 
Two ninety. Oh, I'm very cute. Seven on cat, very strong. Very solid. Now black has placed this cap here, so it's seven to take the green cap, I believe. Black will get to go before us. We hope that green's troops get stuck on this portal. They already stuck the black's capital, but we'll move off of the portal. And down into blue one. Not because why would it ever do that? Hits 4v3, have a very aggressive style of boss. 16 territory, get ready, moves off cap left, black will get free capital. Happens. <laughs> no one else can get in there. Yellow could go all out for it. Have a lot on original cap, could just go. 1, 2, 3, 4. It's risky. Arco only has 6 troops to start the turn. Yeah. Bit risky that. Because the four moves left instead of down, can't move in with the three stack to go either. We were never getting that capital, as it turns out. We were never getting that capital. Arthur will be looking to get out of the position behind him then. The bot gets to stay alive, the bot is killed out. Arthur has Four free territories for as long as he wants. And a very angry frog. This is a very good position for Arthur to be in. And one that we could have found ourselves in at least a similar position to. If we had taken this capital here, so we started off with four, we would add three, hit the black one, add three, hit the yellow two, I think. People can obviously get in with the portal, but that would be orange moving about. We end our turn with at least a 6 on cap. Potentially more, depending on how this roll goes. I like the idea of capping up there. I don't think I'll be able to play similar settings in the future. But untouchable and unchangeable. Okay, black has everything to cap, so they can split off into the middle one. More than understandable. We have two sixes. Hey, okay, that's not bad. We only have a six ourselves. Very solid start for black. We end up going to start again with the six troops because we've got once more our 12 territories. Portals have opened. I would like to remove this black one from the equation at least. I think I'd like to combine these three together. I don't think I removed black one yet. I do remove this black one. That's my card this turn. I removed that black one there. If blacks are going to have two capitals, they can't be having externals this far out. I don't mind having this one here. That one keeps me open. If I take it, I'm obviously closed off with the capital. 10 should be enough on there. I think we add another one out here. We're playing slow for now, trying to work out what we need to do. I'm not used to this type of settings. The closest I've come is the uh, settings. You guys will be pretty well acquainted to if you're watching rest content. Pretty, pretty common. And that is the EU advanced, but not the 70% version that we're playing today. Okay, now the black one gets hit anyway. Me. Oh wow! This is an aggressive bot. Okay. Green bot takes out the black three. Unexpected. But I'm not going to complain. That there, for someone who's going to have much superior uh, generation, if this game does go long, very happy to see that type of thing happen early. So what do these capitals actually block off? We have, of course, 
Arco's cap, which actually blocks something, right? Block your side territory behind if or when he wants to take this green one. But I suspect it to be a very long time to take this green one. He's going to keep that kill guard there as long as possible. So, we have this 10, which is a good kind of stick in the middle kind of position. Quite choky around here, actually. It's really choky around here. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Right huh? No idea what happened there. Orange wants bonus. Have we left this cap too weak? Can we escape with a cap hit? If we get a good dice, we can end up in a position like Blacks. Get bad dice. We vote, we lose the game instantly. Leave him there. Leave the troops in there. Can't be giving out bonuses this game. Unless they're my bonuses. But I don't see how I'd ever get this troop over here dead. I don't see it. Moves out. Scared of the threats, moves out. Interesting. So we're going to move this 3 across to this 2. But we're also going to shore up the capital. But I say shore up, this is more of an offensive manoeuvre than it seems. If orange does end up uh, for this, which you likely will, you might not need to add anymore, which isn't great. Blue is now looking for his own bonus. So not great. I think if orange leaves his castle under defended, we have a very real chance of taking that capital. Unless Green wants to lock it off for him, which would suck. Out of the way, but green's up to 20 territories. So green is generating as much as the rest of us, even without capitals. Okay, I think we're looking to take the risk here. We're going to be getting up five more troops. Arco will be taking bonus. Yeah. Arco has a bonus. I think Arco just has this game from a very solid cap spot. To be honest. I think it's risk taking time. Add sports cap. No, no longer risk taking time. Okay. Plan C. Now, I think, which is stick the troops on the capital and uh, hope someone messes up the 70. I don't really see a way out of this unless we really take the bot down about 10 pegs. I'm never getting this north right bonus. Unfortunately, the old shore is not an option. We're allowing bonuses in a game that should never have bonuses allowed. The reason why they should never have bonuses is because some people will have bonuses and some people won't. Recipe for disaster. Lack of a lot of troops behind us in that north right territory, uh, north east territory. Can never really take it as a bonus. Can't take the one next to Arco because we already let us have it. 
can't take this inner ring because black and cat can't take half this ring because black and cat. I think we're just sitting on the capital. I don't think there's much to do. I think other people have acted in self interest. But it's not the overall state of this game. How can we allow this bonus to be held? If you're me. But at the same time, don't help me if I break it. Hurts me if I break it. Orange got broken by the bar. Yeah. Good game, he says. I have a bot that didn't have a set on fruit, it's quite funny. Arthur gets 13, that's good enough game as it is anyway. You can now deny Orange's bonus from ever existing while holding on to his own. With this vastly strong enough cap to survive. Or he can sit passive. Is it a three and five? Yeah. Okay. Orange is all in on this for whatever reason. I think this map is glitching. Didn't look like it. It's really going crazy. You can hear me have one there. Place five on it. That's probably what happened actually. Black could break if they wanted to. I don't think it helps then. So. Should they? Probably not. Could only break orange. Could break yellow, but it's suicide. It does break yellow. Interesting. Do it. Hmm. We're going to put black into a very difficult situation here. Can I plan this turn? Isolate them. We force them to attack off the cap. One direction or another. That's the Joker. Good. So we have set without the Joker. Now we have the Joker. That's good. We have our six troops on the plus two. Black now has no external. So Black now I need to hit my four, which is a risky hit for this turn. Green one blocking the cap, or green one blocking the cap. This is always going to be the issue with black fusion. Another one, we must set on four. Wow. Okay, we're going to get set on five then. Obviously, it's going to be the four trade. Once more, four trade. Green kill isn't a possibility yet. If they don't have set on three, we have a very good look at it. As an option. Issue being, we're already at the front of the turn order, we don't want to go further, we don't want to skip ourselves in the turn order, if that makes sense. When they're going to be on four cards and we kill them, we use three, but we get an extra one. Put us onto three when everyone else is on five. That usually gets you killed, but not here because we have a capital. However, not the there. That seems like a misclick from Orange. Yeah. 
<laughs> meant to put the fly back on the one portal. Misclicked it entirely. Let's see what black does. I'm interested. Because I have ruined black a little bit here. He chooses to play the internal capital. Okay. The thing with green acting is that obviously that cat can very soon become open once more. So we're going to remove these two positions from this side. It's going to be most of our investment this turn, actually. Yeah, make sure it's capital. So can act. Oh, of course we have to just <laughs> go about the trade. Happens sometimes. We can have the rest of the cat. We have 12 over here. That's more than enough. Only five hit. Fortunate. Only five hit. Unfortunate. We lose one. But that's fine. We have our Joker, of course, so we have the guaranteed trade if we want it. The green player is by no means worth the card for blue right now. Blue will be trading right now for six, killing the green to get the eight. So 14 total troops, and he has to kill 25 for negative trade right now. So the time is weakening green a little bit. I'm not getting it killed. That's, that would have been a nice block, actually. I would have liked to see Blue go through with that. That could have been a really good block. That could have hurt my chances of getting this green kill. Orange should be looking to kill Dark Green. Gets broken through Portal because, of course, he has. Arco, once again, King of the Table. As the eight, no, I'm not. Yes, I am. Eight. Just that way. Eight territories no one can touch. Right. Seventy percent gain. Having eight territories no one can touch. Pretty good position to be in. Especially when you only have to guard three of them, or so at a time. And one you can. Great position for Arthur. Now we could, in theory, of course, break, but I don't see the point. Why do something that doesn't help us? Interesting. He allows himself to be broken this time. That has 27 looking to be ready to run the board. Oof, minus seven hitting a six, that's another painful one for Frog, but keeps laughing it off, but I think this is just a uh, misunderstanding of the map from where I'm sat. Seems to me that this was completely avoidable. Obviously with this capital, Marco, holding off these, these uh, territories is great. Which is why, once again, I think I should have set, uh, I should have capped on this six. Oh, that's quite scary. That could have hit the. Nah, I could have hit. Never enough. So we're obviously not on a cap here, but we are going to do a similar thing. We're going to be looking to see. Let me see if we can hold that behind us without anyone being able to get in for a decent cost. We're going to raise that cost when we trade likely on four for this green kill. Add the other one to cap. Add the other two to cap. Take that. If we need to get back in here, we have the ability to play. This four will be used to get to this one as it stands. This ten will be used to get around both of these positions on these sides. Cap will be splitting, splitting. And if it needs to go this way as well, it can. That will block off our capital if that happens though, which is not great. Blue could be holding a uh, kill guard. Does. Good play from blue. Green's kill is now harder, but not impossible. It's worth. Well, we'd be trading for the 20, but he'd be worth the 25. Is the 25 trade worth it? Forty-five troops over the turn. 
plus the ability to run the second thing. Maybe. Maybe. Blue also looking very strong this game. Of course, as you expect. Holding that early bogey. Down to 24. So we can hit through blue 13. What do we need here? That's my question. You can hit the six mate. Oh wow, that's beautiful. Okay, that makes that easier. Down to 18. We have lines. Seven troops to kill here. You need to hit four to one. You need to hit four, you need nine to kill a four. Then we've got six left over for two. That actually leave enough for the one. So, maybe 11? Eight troops here. No. Nah, no, this cat hits these ones. Uh, portal is going to go through and get back there. We will be using Joker. We will be going to 11 troops here. Yeah. And the rest. Yeah. Now for the 50 round. Not enough territory. <laughs> we need three more territories. We need this over here, we need a better roll over there, we need another one there, and then we have the five on three to go for it. Better positioning, we're gonna split. We had 16 troops left over, we had it. We had it. We need a little bit more calculation. Okay. Something to learn. It's not the end of the world. I think Arco just wins. Actually, no, it is the end of the world. Arco just wins. Whoopsie. We have a good chance of it. I'm not bad at Arco. The idea was there. It should be a the idea is the right idea. Okay. That is how to win this game. For it there is the thing. Like we 100% have to get back. Otherwise, this game was. That and Arthur wins anyway, right? Arthur wins this game. If we don't go there, that way there we have a chance ourselves. We didn't mess it up for anyone else. Maybe Blue didn't have the set, so maybe Blue has a chance at our uh, mistake. But I'm happy with my idea for how I played that. Just slightly annoyed that I messed up the execution. Basically due to running low on time. I didn't uh, there's 90 seconds I found and I didn't use that many seconds. Alright. Hold on. Okay. Well, I will see you guys next time and I will uh, think about this. <laughs>